what's the crack lads welcome back we are going to do a quick player of the week review i know a lot of people are still asking me to do the player of the week review so i'll give you my suggestions we also did spin our free one you can get a free one by playing the event against the ai every week you get a free spin it costs you nothing it takes you about maybe half an hour and you can sim the games it's very very easy to do we did actually spin and get giovanni de lorenzo who's had a great game the other day for Italy he's got a booster as well it's not a bad card with the manager boost you're going to have defensive awareness and tackling over 90 speed and acceleration at 85 plus very good free to play card if you do end up spinning him on a free he gets a defending plus three obviously that's tied to his a form rating and of course he's got pretty much everything that you could want so he's definitely a suggested player blocker interception flight sliding tackling fighting spirit very very slick at the moment even though he's an extra front man it's a lovely card right these five at the back here, okay, I don't feel like that these guys are going to really shake things up. There's no booster, there's no um, real skills that they have that are going to be different than any player that you probably already have as a creative playmaker. He's got low lofted and, and weighted pass and true pass in one touch, but he's lacking with his speed. That's the problem with this card. And also, which you have this guy here from Greece, you have a lack in speed as well, even though he's a whole player. He's also got a lack of passing skills. So it just depends on kind of who you spin and who you want to get for. Um, we also have Undav as well, who's playing as a whole player here with his card. Again, lacking a little bit of speed, but he does actually get that acceleration quite high. And he does have, again, a lack of player skills. He doesn't have flip flap. He doesn't have soul control. He doesn't really have that much stuff going on. Like, listen, these cards are good, man. I, I hate being down on these player of the week cards. They're fun cards to use. And I do feel that they have their place in the game. But they're not going to change the dial too much if you've been playing the game a while. If you haven't been playing the game that long, these are always going to be advantage cards. Uh, I give you an advantage, right? And also we have another center back here. Again, just lacking a little bit of speed. But again, not a bad card at all. Interception and blocker is always nice. Area superiority. Good height, good weight. Movement is going to be a little bit sluggish. But physically, he's very strong. Defensive AI. Uh, is going to be nice and his tackling is going to be nice as well heading very solid card actually kind of underrated and then we also have Araujo who's going to be a little bit similar but he's down as a destroyer he doesn't have a real face either he has blocker he has heading interception um but yeah these cards are a dime a dozen lads honestly tackling is going to go to 90 jumping is not bad but no other stack going past 90 is a bit of a concern for a destroyer especially with the way the gameplay is at the moment so rolling in our goalkeeper here as well you know what you're getting with any of these goalkeepers, lads. He has got low, uh, long throw, but he doesn't have low punt, which I do like low punt a lot of the time to start counterattacks. And again, his awareness is going to go to 90, but no other stat is going to go to 90 apart from awareness and reach, Um, even though he's quite tall. But listen, these cards, man, they should always be just kind of like added extras. You know, I would never really spin for these unless there's one card that I really, really want. So that's kind of the top seven there, or the bottom seven there. So Bozilai and Zubimendi, right? Zubimendi is down as a DMF. Obviously, he's been linked with a move to City, as far as I'm aware of. Um, obviously, because of that injury with Rodri. He doesn't have blocker, but he is down as a box-to-box. -box, and he's actually quite decent on the ball as well. Tight possession. I always do like silky box-to-box -box players. He's not going to be the best one because he's caught for a bit of pace. But I definitely think he's nice if you do spin him. So Bozilai as well, the Hungarian Liverpool man. He is very, very decent in the game. Could have done with a booster as well. He's got flip-flap. He's got one-touch pass. He's got some nice skills, but not the finished article either. But he is quite solid in the game. He can play left, right, left, right across the midfield or the wings. And then, of course, he can play AMF and SS as well. Sorry, AMF and CMF as well. He's got a nice kind of like motion to him. Nice player ID. Let me know what you guys think of him because a lot of people have been impressed with him. Kind of like Havertz in the fact that like he's very underrated. They don't play the same, but they're very underrated cards that a lot of people like to use. Now, Trent is probably the pick of them, okay? Now, I have loads of different versions of Trent. I have the Showtime one, I have the free one. Is this guy worth spinning for? Well, he can play CMF, left back, right back, or right mid. And off the rip, lads, I mean, you've pretty much got an end game right back here. That's unbelievable techers on the ball. Brilliant tight possession for his position. Brilliant speed, brilliant acceleration. Not the finished article defensively, but he does get that plus three booster. He doesn't have any defensive skills apart from acrobatic clearance. Um, but yeah, he's more kind of a silky CMF, I would say, or a right midfielder, which will probably be his best position if it was up to me, you know, if I was playing him. Now, as I said, if you had the free version of Ar Arnold, I wouldn't bother uh, going for him. Um, but yeah, that is kind of Trent. And then to round it off, we have his teammate Salah. Three Liverpool players in this. Mohamed Salah, you're going to have here. 
is down as a right winger. He can only play right wing, but he's down as a prolific winger this time, which is nice. Very, very decent speed and acceleration. And of course, you're going to have dribbling and finishing and balance and tight possession all up towards the 90 mark. It's Salah, lads. Listen, you know he's going to be good. The problem is, boys, as I always say, it's not really a problem if you haven't been playing the game that long. And it's obviously like a first world problem because I've got so many good players. The problem is at the moment, right, for me, is that I have a lot of cards, such as here that you're going to see. I have a lot of cards that are just better versions. You've got the Blitz Curler Salah, which is still incredible. You've got all his stats into the 90s, balance, type possession, uh, finishing curl. We also have a couple of different versions of, of Trent here that can play all different positions. Um, we even have Sabazalai here as well. Um, that's a really good card. So once you start to amass different cards, it's very difficult to kind of like justify spinning from. We also have a player of the week, Salah, here as well. That's really nice and very similar, except he's down as a whole player. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of the player of the weeks. And uh, that is it for just a quick review. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.